Breaking news tonight, a historic decision. A Manhattan grand jury has indicted former President Donald Trump, making him the first former U.S. president charged with a crime. Good evening. I'm Dana Tyler. Dick Brennan is off. The exact charges are sealed and not yet known, but the case is focused on an alleged hush money payment during Trump's 2016 presidential campaign. Chopper 2 right now flying live over the courthouse in Lower Manhattan, where the grand jury voted to indict Trump. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor begins our live coverage from the newsroom with the breaking details. Alice. Dana, as you mentioned, you know, this is a monumental moment mm -hmm. in American history. For the first time, a former U.S. president is facing criminal charges. Now, the grand jury was investigating former President Donald Trump's payments of hush money to Stormy Daniels, a nearly five-year investigation. She is the adult film star who said Trump paid her to stay silent about an alleged affair. Now, Mr. Trump's attorney confirmed the indictment to CBS News, and we do not yet know exactly what charges he's facing and whether he's going to face misdemeanor or felony charges. The indictment is under seal by the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. It'll likely be unsealed in the coming days. The former president will be asked to surrender and face arraignment. Let's give you a live look outside right now. Uh, this is going to be 100 Center Street that you're seeing in a moment. This is the Manhattan DA's office. Uh, Alvin Bragg was heading into that office earlier today. Day. Um, not a lot going on there right now because, again, the president, he, the former president, he is not here yet. We have just learned, again, former President Donald Trump will be indicted on criminal charges. You know, security has really been stepped up in New York City. Uh, last week, we thought something was going to happen. The former president had tweeted he expected to be arrested uh, last Tuesday. That did not happen. As a result, all NYPD officers, even those who normally wear plain clothes, who are, who are undercover, they were told to dress in full uniform in anticipation of a potential protest. We know that on Monday uh, that directive expired and they did not renew it. So officers were back wearing plain clothes. Security wasn't quite as obvious as it had been last week. Um, I was also at a rally the other day, if you can call it a rally. It was really um, a lot of local lawmakers, community leaders who were calling for people to stop with this rhetoric, namely the former president uh, concerned about uh, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg and the threats he was getting. He was received a death threat last week on Friday. Uh, that envelope contained a powder, ended up being a non-hazardous material, a substance, but a lot of threats were coming into his office. Um, he's got a lot of people who work in his office as well. You know, it's not just him. Um, so security was stepped up for those reasons, and we're waiting to see what the NYPD is going to do now. I've reached out to find out, are they going to be asking officers to once again dress in full uniform? You know, what can we expect? They had put a lot of barricades around 100 Center Street. You know, I'm usually at that courthouse, Dana, at Manhattan Criminal Court, and whenever there's a high-profile case going on, they do put up those barricades, but nothing like what we saw in the past week or two. Um, so security has really been just unprecedented here uh, due to the potential for him to be indicted. And we just learned, in fact, that he was indicted. That was confirmed by his own attorney. We have not yet heard from the former president himself. You know, the grand jury operates in secret, so we don't know that much about the evidence. We know some of the people who appeared and testified before the grand jury, but we don't exactly know what sort of evidence they were looking at. Um, that indictment yet to be unsealed. Uh, once it is, we will have more answers. And we don't yet know when the former president will be surrendering here. We're told uh, CBS News says it should be coming uh, in the coming days. It could be next week. Um, so, Dana, that's the very latest right now. Once again, we had a live look at uh, 100 Center Street. As you can see, not a whole lot was going on there just yet, but you can bet once the president is here. Mm -hmm. He's not likely to be, um, you know, walked out, handcuffed in front of people. So we're going to see what happens. Uh, this is unprecedented. We've never had a former president facing criminal charges like this before, Dana. No, it is extraordinary. Alice, uh, thank you. Stay there. I'm sure we'll get right back to you.